Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to convert from fractions to decimals. Now you will know some fractions and their equivalent to decimals already. For instance, you should know that a half is equal to 0.5. But we're going to look at how to convert things, for instance, um, 1 eighth to 0.125, and a third to 0.3333333, and so on, or 0.3 recurring. So we're going to look at how to do that in today's lesson. Uh, now there's certain ones that I think you should just know off by heart, for instance a half, three quarters, one quarter, a fifth, and so on. Um, and look at the video, uh, fractions, decimals and percentages, to see uh, which ones, and there's a table of things that you should know, okay, or should learn off by heart. Uh, but we're going to look at the technique to convert from fractions to decimals today. Okay, um, so if you had a fraction, for instance two fifths, the method that I would use whenever I'm dealing with fractions is considering that this line, this line here, means divide by. So you've got 2 divided by 5. So this really means 2 divided by 5. Make sure you realize whenever it's a decimal number like this, that you're doing the top divided by the bottom, the numerator divided by the denominator. So it's 2 divided by 5. Now look at the video on division uh, now, and particularly the one with division with remainders. So, uh, Let's have a look, so let's do this with short division. So we've got 2 divided by 5. Notice I'm putting the 2 under the, the bus shelter, so to speak, and I'm putting the 5 in front of it because the number I'm dividing goes under it and the number I'm dividing by goes outside. Now you might think to yourself, well normally you put the bigger number under the bus shelter method, but look at the question, you've got 2 divided by 5, so the 2 must go under the bus shelter. So. Because you know that the 5 doesn't go into 2, and you know there's going to be some remainders, obviously it's a decimal number, so it's going to be 0 point something, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put decimal point and a couple of zeros here. I don't know how many zeros I need, I could put loads of zeros if I needed to, I could just put 1 or 2, but just remember that 2 is the same as 2.0, so you can put as many zeros as you want, and it'll be just the same. And because you've put a decimal point, put a decimal point here. So, 5 into 2 doesn't go. Remainder 2. 5 into 20 goes 4 times. So that's it, you're finished, 0 0.4. So 2 fifths is the same as 0 0.4. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, this time I'm going to convert 1 eighth from a fraction to a decimal. So it's 1 divided by 8. So 1 divided by 8. Again, I put a decimal point and some zeros. So 8 into, and remember with decimal point above, 8 into 1 doesn't go, remainder 1. 8 into 10 goes once, remainder 2. 8 into 20, that goes twice, 16, remainder 4. And 8 into 40 goes 5 times. So my answer is 0 0.125. So 1 eighth is equal to 0 0.125. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, this time we're going to convert 3 twentieths to a decimal. So again, we're going to do 3 divided by 20. So 3 divided by 20. And because I know the 20 won't go into 3, I'm going to put some zeros. So, three into, uh, 20 into 3 doesn't go. Remainder 3. 20 into uh, 30 goes once. Remainder 10. 20 into 100 goes 5 times. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So it goes 5 times. So, 3 twentieths is equal to 0 0.15. Okay, this time we're going to convert one third into a decimal. So one third, we're going to do one divided by three. So one divided by three. And because we know it doesn't go into it, we're going to just put some zeros. So three into one doesn't go, remainder one. Three into ten goes three times, remainder one. Three into ten goes three times, remainder one. Three into ten goes three times, remainder one. Notice what's happening here. Three into ten goes three times, remainder one. And this will just carry on forever. You could add more zeros on and carry on the bus shelter and you'll just keep on going. Now, this is called a recurring uh, decimal because the three will just carry on forever. Okay? Uh, you could write that as 0 0.33333 and you could carry that on forever. The dots sort of show that that carries on like that. Or well, another way to write it is not point, and because the 3 carries on forever, you put the 3 and you put a dot above it, and that dot just shows that the 3, <laughs> badly drawn 3, will carry on forever. Let's have a look at a different type of recurring decimal. In this video, we're going to convert uh, 1 11th to a decimal. So, 1 divided by 11. I've drawn quite a large uh, div division here, by shelter, uh, because I know it's going to be quite a, l a large number. So. Uh, put a decimal point, put some zeros. 
So, 11 into 1 doesn't go. Remainder 1. 11 into 10 doesn't go. Remainder 10. 11 into 100, well, 9 11 is 99, so it goes in 9 times. And because that's 99, the remainder would be 1. 11 into 10 doesn't go. Remainder 10. 11 into 100 goes 9 times. Remainder 1. You can sort of see what's happening here. 11 into 10 doesn't go. Remainder 10. 11 into 100 goes 9 times, and so on and so on. So 1 11th is equal to 0 0.09, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and so on. To show this is a recurring decimal, what I would do is, I would do, it's equal to 0 0.09, and I put a dot above the, the 0, and the dot above the 9, to show that that recurs. So it goes 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and then that's it.